Okay guys, so this is an update from my latest tutorial. Basically, you're gonna be able to do the same thing from the last tutorial about the kaleidoscope wheel, but in a lot less time, using script. So I have another part of a clip from Insert Me Anywhere with Tobias Funke. And what we need to do first is make sure that we drag it in a composition and we make a composition with the clip. And then we're going to make sure we have the title action safe on to know where the middle is. Now I'm going to open this and scale it down a little bit and place him a little bit under. And with the pan behind tool, I'm going to change the center point of my video clip and place it to the middle of my composition. I'm going back to my selection tool. Now I have this clip here. I'm just going to duplicate it, Control D. And on the new clip, I'm opening the transform setting and I will Alt click on rotation, which opens the expression for the rotation. And in the about section, you will be able to find the exact script I'm going to paste now. Every time I'm going to duplicate the layer, it's going to go minus 33 degree in proportion to the last layer. If you wish to change the opacity of your clips and make it pop at different times, you need to first select all your clips, then open it, click on the opacity on the clock watch, and then move the keyframe you already have that is at 100%, where you want it to pop at 100%, Go back to the beginning of your timeline and then place it back to 0%. So what it gives you is a slow fade in from 0% to 100%. And every time your new layer is going to pop, then you will have the same fade in going on. So what you need to do now, if you want every layer to start a little bit after the other one, start by selecting the first one, press shift and select all of your layers. Then go back to the first one and right click go in keyframe assistant, sequence layers, and since our composition is 15 seconds long, you can select the overlap and make the duration 14 seconds, so it's gonna be like one second each before it starts. So, okay. And since we started by this layer, we have this type of sequencing going on. If you would have started by the, the first one here, then we would have the opposite. I've done it with shapes, pictures, composition, actual clips, it's always working. So just check out in the about section, you're going to find the script and thank you for watching. Have fun editing. <laughs>